I'm Jim Peary, and in Final Fantasy XV, I played King Regis. You have no cause for concern. Nor do you. Take heed. Once you set forth, you cannot turn back. King Regis is a very wise, loyal, courageous ruler, and he, he has to make some tough decisions. What stood out about him to me was his, his love for his family, his willingness to protect his people. My name is Ray Chase, and I play Noctis Lucis Calum in Final Fantasy XV. Don't know about you, but I'm ready as I'll ever be. What's interesting about Noctis is he's not your average, ordinary prince who goes on to try to save the world. He definitely doesn't go into it because he wants to. He's going into it because all of this is forced upon him out of nowhere. Over the course of the game, he learns what it means to be a hero. He learns humanity through the course of this game. And he loses a lot, too. I'd like to be alone right now. Give me some space. I'm sorry for intruding on Noct time. Well, I'll head back then. Night. My name's Robbie Damon, and I play Prompto in Final Fantasy XV. Well, when I first read for Prompto, you know, immediately I recognized his archetype from Final Fantasy series. Uh, but I didn't want to play him as just straight comedy relief. So even though that's sort of his function within the four, we wanted to be really careful to make sure that he was grounded and human and um, still believable, being a real person, going through his own journey. So any bright ideas, Ignis? A dark one, as it were. A frontal assault would leave us exposed, but if we move under cover of night, we might be able to infiltrate the base unnoticed. Hi, my name's Adam Crowsdale, and I play Ignis in Final Fantasy XV. Ignis is the confidant to the king-in-waiting, Noct, and he is very cerebral, quite funny without meaning to be, and an organizer, extremely organized and extremely capable. I'll analyze what intelligence we have available to find us a way in. Sounds good, Specs. He tries to keep Noct and the lads out of trouble and uh, has varying degrees of success doing it. I gotcha! Pull yourself up! My name's Chris Parson, and in Final Fantasy XV, I play Gladio. Gladio is a guy who is... He has a soft spot, but at the same time, he's a ferocious guy that you do not want to cross. That's the thing that, that is really appealing about the Gladio character, is that he is, he is a tough guy and he, he is a comical guy, but at the same time, he cares deeply about his crew. He's kind of the papa bear of the, of the crew. It is in receiving mercy that men offer praise, and in shedding grace that the gods elicit worship. I'm Amy Shields, and I play Luna Freya in Final Fantasy XV. I would describe Luna as a very strong woman. She's quite reserved, but still manages to give across this major passion for everything in life that she cares about. She is this wonderful spirit who just cares about everyone else. I vow! The king will prove himself worthy. She's informed, she's educated, she's an incredible woman to play. And what's your story? I'm an impatient traveler, ready to turn ship. A man of no consequence. Well, hi there. I'm Darren DePaul, and I play Arden Azunia in Final Fantasy XV and in Kingsglaive. The most enjoyable part of playing Arden, the writing, the writing, the writing, the writing, the writing. He's a wonderfully written character. He's very human because he has so many different sides. He's got that very sincere insincerity, and I adored that about him. Arden Izumia, Chancellor of Niflheim. He's just so oily, but just so much fun. That day, he didn't want you to remember him as the king. In what time you had left, he wanted to be your father. My name is Matthew Mercer, and I play the role of Kor in Final Fantasy XV. Corleonis is a person who's bound by honor. He's bound by the promises he's made to his friends and to his king. And he's very much kind of a, a station of the old guard. What draws me to him is, is his sense of honor, his sense of duty, uh, but also the fact that failure is taken so strongly to heart that he wants to ensure that he makes up for his mistakes. Uh, no matter what the cost to him. The king entrusted the role of protector to you. Entrusted it to me? Then why didn't he tell me that? Why did he stand there smiling as I left? Why? 
I think the story of Final Fantasy XV is the hallmark of this game. It really is a classic coming of age story. And in the end, it's Nock's story. But the beautiful part about it is that his three friends who surround him the closest all take their individual journeys. Things like father and son, brother to brother. These are real life things that I think people can relate to. I was thrilled with how high the stakes were, always. People really lose something. It's thrilling and it's sad and it's, you're just getting to use everything. It's heart pounding in terms of how exciting it is. It's an epic quest. It's a tale of betrayal, a tale of friendships for life, and a tale of triumph against insurmountable odds. There's a lot of that fresh delivery that creates its own story and its own essence beyond the rest of the series before it, but also has enough of that continued thread of love that all the previous games had where you feel like it's still home the Final Fantasy series always was. That to me is a sign of a true successor to what is probably one of the greatest game series to hit the whole genre and market.